right, the crowd making noise here. We're going on to the bell lap, the last lap. 33 minutes, 54 seconds into the race. Peter Graves, Simon Bernie, happy to be with you for this live telecast today of the World Cyclocross Championships. Budding, who has run uh, solidly in second throughout the entirety of the race from the Netherlands. Van der Bos looking behind, he's not going to see anybody. Budding has not come across the finish line yet. Still putting time into, into his teammate. Another handful of seconds that lap. Bell lap for him. And there you're going to have big cheers for the American. And they are imploring him on and this, the final lap. Running at sixth now. Four Belgians in the top 10, two minutes there covering the uh, two minutes 15, five Belgians in the top 10. But at the moment, only one on the podium. Peters and Klepper battling with Tupolik for the final podium place. Logan Owen can get back to them and even if he can take it to a sprint. He needs to be in that group to, to be in contention for that final medal place. At the moment, the Dutch guys have got that first and second tied up. But this is a bit of a masterclass from Van der Poel now. Peter is... Still not made contact. Topolik of the Czech Republic in the middle of those two uh, Belgian riders. Czechs have got great history of World Championships, riders that you maybe don't hear about so much during the season, but especially in the younger categories, they, uh, Federation do a good job with them training as, as a group. And especially when the conditions are like this, they, they do excel. Just had Max Chance go by uh, our broadcast location, saw that just a moment ago. Max out of Boulder, Colorado. On the final lap here. Just looking at Tupolik. Best World Cup of 12th place this year, and he's, he's, looking, he's 
looking good and Owens back with that group. Here he goes. Watch Logan Owens, stars and stripes for the United States and again he's on the charge. And that's Peter's podium effort done with. Can't afford to sit down and start sulking on the last lap of world championships. So he's down to one Belgian, one Czech, and an American for that final podium place, Peter. I don't think Peters is going to get back to that group. Well, and the sun is starting to come out here. As Simon has aptly said, we have seen all kinds of weather down here this week in the buildup to these uh, historic championships. It certainly will be a glitter of gold for Vanderpol. Being a little cautious in there, maybe at this point. Yeah, he's he's, uh, he's got a, such a such a good cushion of time. Forty. 52 seconds on that last lap. Uh, two flicks. Two flicks moving clear in that third place spot. We're presuming that Budding is still on his own in second. Two flick in third being chased by Owen. And Nicolas Klepper from Belgium. Yes, he is number one, Simon. Great ride. Like he pulled out his last year's race number, I think, there. So he repeats yet again. And this is Budding. Good, solid ride by Budding. Almost we forgot about him at times. And that's 40 minutes. And the pole off the front and the group chasing behind. But now we've got a bit of a tangle on the final camber. Tupelik still in the bronze medal position there. Dominic Grob of Switzerland also among the top few riders. And the silver medal coming in now. of the Netherlands and now the battle for the bronze and how well it turned out well you have graphic proof of it now and here comes Logan Owen from the United States a very solid fourth place ride Solid, but I think you'll be disappointed with that. I think Tupelik for me was the ride of uh, the ride of the day, out of the names that we thought might be on the podium. I'm sure, our Belgian colleagues next door are going to be disappointed with their first race of the day. Not very often they miss out on the podium. Bermuds in eighth place, 147 back.